Hi everyone, this is Nicole and welcome to another designed series video. Today we are going to be making a mini in minutes, a little tiny 3x4 mini album that you can make with just a few basic supplies. So you can see I have two pieces of just plain white cardstock. You could use any sort of cardstock or pattern paper for this and I'm going to cut each of them into two into a 12 by 8 inch piece. I already have one done so I'm just doing that. Then you flip it over and take a scoreboard and score it at the 3, 6 and 9 inch marks. When you rotate it, you can then score it at the 4 inch mark and that's going to give us our cut lines here for our little mini album. So now you can kind of see that I have a, a grid set up here and once you cut it down, you'll see that we'll fold it accordion style. So I'm going to cut it down that 4 inch score line 3 quarters of the way, the way till 9 inches. So I cut down a little bit here on my guillotine trimmer and then I just cut the rest away with a little pair of scissors. And now it's just a matter of accordion style folding it together to make the inside pages for our mini book. So I've done this with each piece of cardstock. So you, if you wanted to make this a little bit wider, you could definitely do that. Just keep adding more pages um, to the inside the same way. Next, you want to make a bit of a cover for this. So I'm just choosing some scraps of pattern paper. You can see here I have from the Dear Lizzie collection. This is lovely day. So I'm going to cut uh, a pattern paper piece here that measures eight and a half by four inches. And that's going to be part of the cover for my book. Sorry, that's six and a half by four inches, not eight and a half. And then I'm going to cut another piece just to layer into, sorry, my camera just wiggled there. I hit it um, a little bit slightly thinner just to layer it. You definitely don't need to do two layers if you don't want to. Um, but you can cut another piece and layer it over top just like that. Or you can um, leave it just plain with one piece of paper. That would be perfectly fine as well. So I just cut it a quarter of an inch thinner on either side just to get that to fit with a little bit of a border around the outside. So I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit more and I've decided what I want to do is actually I'm going to make some two different panels for the front of my book instead of having one solid piece. So I'm going to have two different patterns. You can see I'm going to use the polka dot on one side and then I'll use the floral pattern on the other side. So I'm going to do that in one step, one second. Now to score this and to make a little book, you score it at the three inch and then three and a half inch mark. And when you fold that together, as you can see, you create like a little bit of a book. So I've gone ahead and I've already pre-cut a piece of thin chipboard that will go right inside the inside of that pattern paper piece. And now I'm going to add those panels that I just cut earlier to the uh, outer edges of that little book shape. It's just hard to decide which to put onto the front and which to put on the back. So again, you can do two panels like this or you can leave that one piece cut all the way. And then you just adhere that to that little thin chipboard. So this is a chipboard I have um, gotten from Silhouette actually. But any sort of like thinner cereal box or thinner chipboard would work really, really well with this. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then I have cut a, the exact same dimensions here for the inside of my book. And it's just some plain white cardstock and I cut that down and I'm just going to again adhere that into the inside of my cover. You might have to uh, adjust your folding a little bit just to get it to fit snugly inside the folded piece and there might be a little bit of an overhang. I had a little bit of the overhang here just from where the folds are and I'm just going to trim that off with a pair of scissors. And in the end you have a little three by four mini book. This is perfect to put in your purse or have as a little gift. Uh, perfect for like a, a mom's brag book type idea. And now really it's just a matter of decorating your cover. I added some stitching to mine before I get too involved with the rest of the decorating. Now for my pages, there's one part that folds over. So I'm just taking some double sided adhesive here by adhesive by 3L and adding that to the inside. And then I'm going to sandwich it together just like so. So I'm going to do the same thing with both sets of pages. Just really, really quickly. I'm using a really wide uh, double-sided adhesive, but you definitely would need one this, this wide. You could use something a lot skinnier. And then alternatively, I'm also going to take the two sets of pages and then sandwich those together. So I'm taking that double-sided adhesive again, and I'm probably using way more than I need to, but I just want to make sure this doesn't fall apart. That's kind of the key. So I'm just adding that all the way to the inside and then stacking the two together. So in the end, I have this lovely little accordion style notebook. And you can see now it's a matter of 
marking off the front and the back of my book for later on. But now I'm going to go ahead and kind of decorate the inside. And you can, you know, it's just like any sort of mini book. You can decorate it however you'd like. For mine, I wanted to really keep it pretty simple. I just wanted to use some scraps of paper, some stickers, and then I wanted to decorate with a little bit of paint. I'm really inspired by my friend Vicki Booten. Um, I don't have her paints just yet, but I have these ones here from Jelly Bean Soup that I really like. So I'm inspired to just add some swipes of paint. I'm just taking an old room key from a hotel and I'm just taking some yellow and some mint green paint and I'm just messily, messily adding that with no kind of rhyme or reason, sliding that across my page. And it dries pretty quickly. I'm just using a very small amount of paint and as you can see this part here, um, just really messily put on. It actually looks kind of cool in the end, I think. So the less perfect you make it, the better I think it looks. So that's just going to add a little bit of color underneath any of the pattern paper that I use. And I'm just going to put that craft mat aside to let everything dry. So I'm just kind of counting my pages. And for my mini album, I have a ton of, little, as you can see, little leftover pictures. Um, sometimes I'm working on a project. These were left over from one of my Crop and Create classes. And so I have a whole bunch of extra pictures that I've printed. And I just want to use them up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating the inside. I really love this pretty floral washi tape from Dear Lizzie. And so I'm going to add that into my page here. You can actually color on this washi tape, which is really cool, but I like it just black and white on the white paper. I think it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just going to take a few little pieces of that and add that throughout my mini book. So one thing I like to do with mini books is use similar items throughout the whole album to kind of to give it a unified idea. So in this case, it's like the paint, obviously, the floral washi tape, and then some other repetitive patterns. I'm going to use some journaling cards too. This is a really great way to use up some of those uh, uh, Project Lifestyle cards or journaling cards. And I'm going to just trim it down just slightly by a quarter of an inch. So I think 2.75 by 3.75 fits it in there just nicely with a little border around the edge. So I'm going to add a few of those while my paint dries and even just some scraps of paper to the same dimension just to a couple of the pages so they're not so plain, plain white. And from here it goes quite quickly because this album is in this little book you want it you can have a little bit of a thicker embellishment inside but you don't want it to be too puffy so that's why i'm going to try to stick to maybe some of the thinner stickers and die cut shapes to decorate inside so once you kind of get most of your paper in there it's time to kind of decide what else you want to add so i have kind of my photos grouped at the top there individually by person as well as um, as a group photos that I want to put in. And now it's just the kind of the fun part is to get everything together. So I'm going to add the insides of my pages in. I'm going to use that strong double-sided adhesive again. Um, in this case, I would definitely be generous with your double-sided adhesive. You want it to stick and stay into your album. So on this front page here, you want to add that. And I like to just line it up with the edge of my book, close it up, and you can see it sticks quite nicely. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the back and you'll see that because we scored the cover we have about a half an inch gap in there to fill our pages so that way if you wanted to make everything a lot thinner you can use skinnier embellishments it would fit if you wanted to add an extra and you could actually Actually, you could probably add an extra set of pages inside, or if you want to do some chunk chunkier embellishments like I am, I'm just going to leave it with the two sets of pages. Now I'm just speeding things up quite quickly here just to deck how I decorated the inside of the album. My paint is completely dry, so I'm just starting off with photos, and then I'm going to add some fun stickers. This is all from Dear Lizzie, and I'm just going to staple and glue dot everything in. And then this is a really great way to use up a lot of your scraps. I have some bits and pieces of paper here I'm going to use. And I'm just going to add the stickers in and work my way through the album page by page. And it's quite easy to get carried away, so um, try not to get too caught too much in the details. You can see here I flip back and forth through the book trying to decide um, if everything looks a little bit different from layout to layout. And I tried to match the colors with the people I have in my album as well just to kind of make it a little more fun. And I do try to kind of add different colors throughout the album so I don't have all red or all yellow in one area. I'm kind of trying to put navy blue in the greens throughout the whole album. 
And then the next part is really decorating the cover. So once you kind of get all that done, or you could do the cover first, you just have to decorate it. Because it is only a 3 by 4 type album, you don't want to get too, too carried away. So I just wanted to keep mine pretty um, simple. I have a piece of vellum I've just cut into a, a pattern, a pendant pattern, and a little floral die cut I had left over from uh, another assignment I had. This one's from Just Nick Studio, my die cut, digital die cut store. And I'm just going to layer that around the vellum with my title, which is just a chipboard word that I've, sorry, a die cut word that I've just pop dotted. And I'm just going to keep add a little title for the front of the album and then use a glue dot to stick that all in place. And then add a few more little stickers and some chipboard to the front. You can get a little chunkier with the front of the album. Another Great idea is to add a button to the front of the album and then wrap an elastic around it to hold it in place. Um, if, if mine keeps popping up a little bit there, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. But if you wanted to keep yours more securely closed, you could definitely do that also. And of course, you could decorate the cover a million kinds of ways. So great way to kind of use up some of those odds and ends you have in your stash. And things like stickers and uh, die cuts are really perfect for something like this. And now I'm just going to go through and add some of the little fun bits to the inside of the layouts, inside the page. And then actually what I don't show in the video is I've done a little bit of stamping as well. Stamping is a great way to just add a little bit of texture and interest into the inside of your album. And some little, these are little tiny little tickets that are almost like little journaling spots. So they're perfect for the mini album size that we're working with. So I'm just going to tuck a few of those in around my photos so I can add some journaling in a little bit later on once I finish the whole album all together. I definitely think this is something I'll keep in my purse and keep handy um, because it's just the perfect, perfect little size. So that's it. I love how that came together. So here is that just a quick close-up of the cover of the album and you can see here just how it stands up on the outside. It looks like a tiny little 3 by 4 inch book and everything just spreads out nicely and you have a lot of room there in that half inch gap of the book binding. And it's pretty sturdy with the different layers of cardstock there just folded together. You could definitely do that with pattern paper as well. It would be the exact same thing. I just find cardstock is a little thicker and I really love how the paint especially in this part here, just that kind of messy, grungy kind of look really adds a little splash of color. And you can use up your journaling cards, all those little extra photos. And this would be a wonderful keepsake for yourself or a Mother's Day gift um, for your mom or your grandmother or an auntie, someone special in your life. So that has been our mini and minutes for Scrapbooking Cards today. I will see you next.